Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Um, this is the uh, original 998RT, the one that didn't churn, and got hot, and burnt a hole in the case. Well, there's the there's the thing that burnt the hole in the case. There's an RF choke there. Now, there's no circuit available for this thing, <coughs> or for the um, uh, the, bio, the internal bias T part of this thing, I should say. But the RF, the RF uh, plus DC comes in here. And if we look around here, on the other side of that feed through, we've got these uh, capacitors here. Where's my finger gone? There it is. We've got these capacitors here. Can you see that? They go to that feed through down there. So that's the DC blocking. So this is the RF path goes through goes through these capacitors, and they're the DC blocking. So the path we're interested in, the path with the problem, or the problem so far at least, is down here. Okay, got an RF choke, got a couple of things here that go to uh, chassis. So it's always possible that one of these devices is faulty. Um, although it does read like a diode. Now there's a wire that goes from there around here and that probably goes to here. There's a 12 volt, there's a 12 volt input here. 12 volt input here. So it looks like I'll probably have to um, I'll probably have to uh, take this cover off. It's actually got a little LCD screen inside. See that? So this is probably very similar to the one they sell with the remote part of it um, or with the control part of it in the house. Because you've got all these buttons here and uh, all they've done is separate the two units for the, uh, for the one with the control box in the house. It's a shame actually that you can't, they didn't put a window in the case because um, if I remember rightly when I read the blurb for this thing it says that once it's reached a match it will actually display the amount of L and the amount of C it's used to achieve that match. It might even show you the, um, the impedance it's matching as well. Which is, all, uh, which is all very good. So anyway there's lots of, uh, lots of relays in here as you can see. I can see why they've said tune it at uh, 5 to 20 watts there. It's a 1500 watt tuner, but you know, you really wouldn't want to put high power on this and then get it to tune. Um, these smaller capacitors here, these are going to be on the 50 ohm side. These will be on the high impedance side, a bit high voltage capacitors. And uh, there's the, uh, the various inductors that can be switched in and out. Okay, well I think um, what I'll do here, I'll stop this here and uh, I'll dismantle it a little further and see if I can uh, see if I can find um, what the problem is. At the very least we're going to have to get an RF choke for it. Um, but uh, well, if I can't make it work I can keep it as, uh, keep it as spares. One thing I will say though um, very quickly and that is when I took the plastic cover off of this uh, unit a lot of the screws were loose now I haven't checked my other one, uh, the one that I've just got, the one that works, but uh, I certainly will be checking that just to make sure that all the screws holding the, the plastic top uh, to the case, are, uh, to the metal chassis, are, um, are, are nice and tight. Because <coughs> if you use it outside and you haven't got a nice seal there, there could be, uh, could be all sorts of problems with that. Alright, well I'll stop this here. If I, can, uh, if I do another video, it might be a separate video, or it might be a continuation of this one. Anyway, I hope uh, thus far uh, you found this interesting. As always, thanks for watching, I'll catch you later.